Hi everyone, I'm Wei Chen from Telegram Paris. In this video, I'm going to present our work on how to quantify information leakages in code-based code masking. Uh, this is a joint work with uh, Sivan Kiyi, Claude Garlet, Sizem Menagef, and uh, Jean-Luc Danger. Uh, in this talk, uh, we first give an introduction of code-based masking, then present our coding theoretical leakage quantification. We apply it to the polynomial masking, which is based on Shamir's secret sharing, uh, and uh, show how the redundancy in masking can only increase the side channel uh, leakages. Uh, in side channel analysis, a sensitive variable X is leaking in certain forms. Then the leakage can be viewed as a combination of some functions on X and uh, a noise and a uh, commonly used setting is uh, assuming measurement noise is uh, the additive white Gaussian noise. So to protect the uh, uh, cryptographic implementation, one of the most uh, well established uh, contributor is uh, masking. Uh, in particular, the masking provides provable security and it is uh, in the algorithmic uh, level the, its costs increase in critically with the, the security order. Uh, typically, in Boolean masking, let x be the sensitive variable, y be the masks, and z be the masks variable. Then, given n chains, its encoding is as follows. The first chain is, is constructed by XOR with the, the, secret, the sensitive variable and the, all other masks. And uh, as the chains are uh, the uh, random masks only, uh, as we know, the, mas the Boolean masking can be generalized into the code based masking from a coding theoretic perspective. Uh, let Z be key pieces of uh, inform, uh, and let Z equal to XG plus YH, uh, where X has uh, key pieces of information, Y has T masks and then be encoded into Z with uh, ancients. J and H are two general matrices of linear code C and D respectively. So we note that the only condition is in, code -based, uh, in generalized code-based masking is that C and D has only zero code word in the intersection. In addition, if uh, n equal to k plus t, there is no redundancy, like in IPM and direct sum masking. Otherwise, if n is greater than k plus t, the masking is redundant. Here we give uh, two examples, the Boolean masking and uh, the in the product masking. On the left, the Boolean masking is the simplest encoding with all the XOR. <clears throat> the G and H are binary matrices with only ones and zeros. On the right, in IPM, the first chain is constructed with in the product operation involving alpha i. As we show, alpha i are in the first column of H, comparing with the brain masking, only one column is changed. And we can recover the brain one by setting all of i equal to one. So the blame masking is a special case of uh, IPM. Next, we present a brief story of code-based masking. Note that uh, these references marked in blue are the first proposals. The observation, the first ob observation is that the leakage screening and the phenomena masking were proposed in 2011. And the original IPM was 2012. At last, the most general case was proposed in Chess 2020. Uh, in this paper, we will focus on this general case and show how to quantify the information leakage. Uh, the connection between above masking schemes are shown in figure three. We highlight two groups. Uh, first thing on the left, we have a Russia doll. 
including Boolean masking in the product masking and the leakage screening and also direct sum masking. They all have uh, no redundancy. On the right, we have uh, preliminary masking, which is based on Shamian's secret sharing. Uh, it has uh, it can be configured with uh, redundancy in a glitch-free context. Context. Uh, then for two natural questions that uh, raise uh, uh, how to measure information leakage in different schemes, and the secondly, uh, how to choose the optimal parameters or optimal code for each scheme. Uh, before we move into details, uh, we recall some definitions and the transformation. The first one is the due distance. Uh, the due code denotes as DPEP, gave an inner code D. It's a due code is uh, that each code of each code word V is uh, orthogonal to all code, code words in D. Uh, next, uh, some subfield representation and uh, code expansion by which we can extend an inner code from a big affinity file to a subfield F2. Uh, next, uh, as a well-known notion is called uh, with a numerator, uh, which denotes a linear code to a uh, with a polynomial. Uh, for a linear code D of parent N, K, D, uh, it's a with a numerator is as follows. The coefficient B, I is the number of code word of hand weight I. In particular, B, D is called the case number of D. <clears throat> for instance, for the linear code 844, we have a B0 equal to 1, B4 equal to 14, and the B8 is 1. In addition, we can define the adjusted case number of two linear code C and D. So B prime D is the number of code words such that the code words are in code D but not in code C. Uh, next, we show how to measure the Nikija in code base masking. Uh, in this work, we consider two probing models. In the bit probing model, each probe only gets uh, one bit of information, while in pro uh, word probing model, each probe gets uh, L bit information. The corresponding security order are TB and TW, respectively. Uh, so in side channel analysis, the leakage function turns a bit vector into a real value, which are denoted as a procedural Boolean, Boolean function P. Then the numerical degree is defined as the maximum number of coordinates of beta, which is the coefficient of z power i uh, in leakage function P. Uh, some, some, some examples are as follows. For MSB and LSB in differential power analysis, which is commonly denoted as DOM, Z power I is, is with only one coordinate of one. In the mu weight leakage model, each bit appears only once and returns the sum. In both cases, the degree equals one. Uh, and the last example has a second order leakage with the, with the product of uh, first two bits. Uh, it, uh, has a, it has a numerical degree equal to two. Uh, then by using leakage function P, we can define the uh, side channel leakage as L equal to PZ plus N with Gaussian noise. The, then the problem is how to exploit the leakage. In side channel analysis, the distinguish is to check whether the leakages under different value of x are different, correspond to whether the variance is zero or not. Therefore, we, we can define the SNR as the ratio between the variance of uh, uh, information and the variance of uh, noise as in convention. Uh, Taking heavy weight leakage into consideration, we have PZ equal to uh, heavy weight of Z with power D for high order moment. Then it can be decomposed as follows. 
uh, as in equation six, the first part has a term with a numerical degree smaller than d, while in the second part uh, with degree exactly equal to d. Therefore, we have uh, the following theorem for SNR uh, in code based masking. So it involves the due distance t and the adjusted case number b prime d, which depending on both the uh, code c and d. So it's a consist, uh, it is consistent with the, the security order in probing model. Uh, next, from an uh, information theoretic uh, perspective, the mutual mission between the leakage and the, the sensitive variable X is computed by two entropies, the total entropy HL and the, the conditional uh, entropy HL given X are uh, given as follows. So then we have the following theorem for mutual mission uh, in code base masking. So as in equation eight, we have a mutual mission between L and X equals zero when the degree of P is smaller than zero which is consistent with proving model, uh, proving security order. And if the degree of P equals the due distance, the mutual mission is linked to the due distance and the adjusted casing number as in SNR. Uh, visually, we illustrate the impact of due distance and the adjusted casing number as in figure four. Uh, in particular, the slope of the curves in log log uh, representation is uh, equal to the slope. And uh, uh, and the vertical offset is linked to the B prime D. An example of four bit cases of two shares or PM is shown in figure five. The slope and the vertical offset are as expected. Therefore, we propose a unified evaluation framework for GCM, in which the side channel security can be characterized by the due distance and the, the adjusted case number. In addition, uh, the optimal code can be given by maximizing uh, the due distance D and uh, minimizing the adjusted case number uh, B prime D. We next uh, apply our approach to SS-based uh, phenomenon masking. Uh, as pointed out in chess 2018, the phenomenon masking is connected to uh, the read solomon code. Uh, the, the IS code is defined by choosing a phenomenon with order equal or smaller than T and evaluate it on M public point. Then we can uh, then we can show the connection uh, ex explicitly. The general matrices of J and H are as follows. In particular, each share corresponds to an evaluation in as the read summon code. Uh, next, uh, considering an instance with the three chains and the T equal to one which is uh, a first order secure masking. Uh, G and H as follows for the sake of uh, simplicity and also because of uh, the equi equivalence of uh, linear code, we can set F1 equal to one. And uh, the other two uh, parameters are F2 and F3 are uh, equal to F power G and F power K respectively. The, the sharing is that in equation 10, where we only have one random mask U1. So by applying theorem 2 for mutual mission, we can evaluate different code in SS-based masking. Clearly, the black curve gives the best code and the approximation in theorem 2 are more accurate when the noise increases. Uh, next, we give an exhaustive study list in table one. Uh, different code can have uh, various uh, due distance and uh, the adjusted case number. As shown in the last column, uh, we give 
the best cases of code for 301 as a space masking and the comparing of comparing with the state of that we show a systematic approach to find the best code uh, in addition we show that some parameters are the worst the worst cases uh, and are not recommended for practical use uh, uh, in particular for the first time we illustrate the impact of both called the CMD in its uh, cytochrome resistance of uh, GCM. Uh, at last, we evaluate the impact of redundancy in coding, uh, in code-based masking. Uh, again, we recall the sharing in 3.1 SS-based uh, masking. We have uh, one share for redundancy. Uh, we will compare the information carrying in the share, in the three share and uh, in two out of three shares by using information. The results are shown in figure seven. On the left, we have, <coughs> we show that uh, three combinations uh, of two shares have the same, same uh, due distance. And on the right, uh, we give uh, one instance of company combination that has a small, smaller due distance. Uh, two observations can be made. Uh, firstly, three chains always carry, uh, carry more information than two chains. And uh, secondly, the security is uh, determined by the weak, weakest combination of uh, two chains. And in general cases, it's uh, determined by T out of N chains in uh, SS-based polynomial masking. A similar, a similar result is shown in figure eight for different code and uh, different combinations. Uh, finally, we conclude uh, our talk. Uh, so in this paper, we propose a coding theoretic approach to quantify the side channel resistance of uh, the code, the base masking. Uh, we use both SNR and uh, MI as a linkage matrix and uh, propose a unified uh, framework for evaluation and uh, for choosing optimal code in GCM. So our uh, our open source are uh, in GitHub available by using following links. Uh, we also highlight that uh, we want to show uh, how to find the best code by presenting detailed investigation on the trace of single basis for code expansion from uh, big field file to base file, uh, base file F2 uh, in proofs uh, on September 17, uh, just after chess. So when come to our talk and uh, please check our paper for details. Uh, thanks for your attention. Please uh, contact me if you have any uh, questions.